What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Justin, also known as GamingSpiderYT here on YouTube.com and today we have a new video from Bungie, uh, provided by IGN of course, of a new map on Destiny that was not available in the beta, it is on Earth and it is called Twilight Gap. Now this map does look very very cool, uh, basically Bungie's giving IGN a little bit of an inside look on a map that we didn't have access to within the beta, which is very very cool and uh, I gotta say I do like this map a lot, it's about a mid-sized map. The setting is kind of on an abandoned military base right outside of the last city. If you guys played the beta enough, you guys would know the last city is the big giant city when you look out over the tower with the traveler, of course, right there, the big giant ball that protects the city. But yeah, guys, this map does look really, really cool. They're playing it on control. You'll see a little bit of gameplay at the end, a little bit of a teaser trailer. It's only like five seconds long or ten seconds long or something ridiculous like that. Uh, but basically... We're just going to be given a tour around the map right now uh, by this guy from Bungie and IGN. Now, I'm going to go turn on the actual uh, volume of the interview now, so I'll catch up with you guys after the video ends. And be able to um, hone their skills before they go out into the wilds when they're, when they're actually fighting the Fallen and the Hive and the Cabal. Right. So we've got the, this particular uh, run around. We've got the control game mode. Correct. Uh, queued up, and is this is this map playable in all the game modes you'll have? Absolutely. Um, and control is the one we're showing in the beta. And the cool thing about control is it's it's really a hybrid of uh, team deathmatch and something like domination. So right. you've got three points on the map. But the great thing about control is that if you don't want to pay attention to the control points, you don't have to. You can still get points for your team by getting kills. However, if you have a team that's working really well together and coordinating by holding these zones, every single kill that anyone on your team gets has a bonus multiplier tied to it. Interesting. So would, this, would you consider this one to be a, uh, by Destiny standards, small map, mid-sized map, large map? This is a mid-sized map yeah. in, in the Destiny universe. We have some larger ones uh, that will also be, well, at least one larger one that's going to be in the beta as well, called First Light, that has vehicles. But this one in particular, yeah, is a medium-sized map. Is it, uh, what do you personally tend to prefer? Map-wise? Yeah. Uh, are, you you know a small, are you a small map guy? I mean, you go back to the Halo, two, I, two days you know, in the midships, I, the lockouts. I do like small maps, I have to say. I'm really, uh, really partial to the small maps and the, uh, the modes that sort of heighten those small maps. So we've got the, uh, the guns that are firing off in the distance that are, that are still keeping us safe in the city. So you'll see those guns are facing off in the opposite direction from where the city was. So there's lots of cool routes through all of our maps in general. One of the things that's great about Destiny is the ability for every player to have access to these movement modes. Yeah. It's definitely pretty tight quarters in here. Maybe the, you know, my, my special weapon shotgun might come in, come in, <laughs> in use in here. Absolutely. Absolutely. Maybe not so much the sniper rifle well, that we've got yeah. equipped now. <laughs> but there are some really good snipe lines on this match, uh, or on this map. Um, when you go out into available. this area, you know, you'll definitely see people lining up along this line here and uh, firing on people that are coming across or jumping across the center. Or you can get yourself up into a, a higher position and see guys that are coming along down this rail. Um, yeah. There's any, a lot of a lot of cool places to uh, traverse in this map. A lot of neat routes. Any other key landmarks that the, the battles tend to revolve around, or the control points tend to be the, the hot spots? They're definitely the hot spots, and we you know we try to do things like there's there's a gondola here, so we we try to come up with really interesting places at every location where the you know where the control points are to allow players to really call those things out. Well, let's, uh, let's now cut to some, uh, some actual live gameplay action. And for more on Destiny, you know where to be right here all month long for IGN First. Thanks, Lars. Thank you. Wow, I've got to say that map does look really, really cool, and I, I cannot wait until the full game drops so that I can play all the maps. The gameplay that you're watching right now is the other map on Earth. There are four in total uh, maps on Earth. I think there's three if you're on the Xbox and four if you're on the PlayStation or something like that. There's only like one exclusive Crucible map in the entire game, which is really, really good. 
Uh, but yeah, if you guys missed that video that I did yesterday, I got 11 Crucible maps confirmed and a bunch of other stuff confirmed. I think 32 story missions. Uh, the link to that video will be in the description down below if you want to see all of the uh, game modes, maps, and uh, story missions, strikes, and more confirmed, and all that stuff. So basically what I think about this map, I think this could be a very, very good competitive map played on game battles. It's, of course, a close quarters to medium range map uh, on Earth, of course, which is uh, always good, I guess, uh, for the competitive scene. Uh, yeah, the guy's got a point. You can definitely use a sniper in some locations, but honestly, I think that the shotgun and close range, close quarters... Oh, Josh dropped my controller. I do that so much in these videos, gosh. Um, I, I definitely think the shotgun and... Uh, Close quarters, I don't know, auto rifles or something that you use in close quarters would definitely thrive on this map and definitely in this game mode also where the control points are definitely the hot spots. So uh, if I were on this map, I'd be definitely using something close range unless I would, uh, I don't know, do something like uh, get to an elevated spot and use an auto rifle or a semi-auto or something like that. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have for today's video, guys. Leave your thoughts on the new map down below in the description. And be sure to subscribe if you're new here for more Destiny updates as well as Titanfall news. And uh, basically do a lot of both games. So yeah, subscribe if you like that. And uh, yeah, guys, please take your time and like the video. It really does help out the channel. And uh, that's pretty much all I got. So until next time, guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.